Hello there, my name is Blair. Welcome to another episode of Science is Cool. Today our topic is change in matter between physical change and chemical change. Changes takes place around us all the time. Changes happens around us can be categorized into physical and chemical change. Melting of ice, cooking of food, dissolving sugar in coffee, boiling a water, rusting iron, burning a matchstick, and many more. Teacher Carly will explain more about our topic today, change in matter. Physical changes do not affect the chemical composition of an object. These types of changes can include changing texture, such as sanding wood, changing color, such as adding food coloring, changing shape, and changing states of matter. This picture depicts changing the state of matter, as ice melts and becomes water. This picture depicts changing the shape of an object as you cut up the vegetable. Folding a shirt would be an example of a physical change because you're just changing the shape, not the chemical makeup. Chemical changes are ones that affect the chemical composition of objects. You know a chemical change is happening if you can smell a change in odor or if you see the formation of precipitates or bubbles. Some examples of chemical changes include the rusting of a car as metals are exposed to oxygen in the air. And another example is baking. Wet and dry ingredients combine together along with heat and form things like cookies, bread, and other baked goods. The combination of baking soda and vinegar is also a chemical change. This is evidenced by the formation of bubbles, and also, though you cannot see it in the video, there is a temperature drop. I hope you enjoy chemical and physical change today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I'm Blair and Teacher Carly for Science is Cool. Change in Matter. See you in the next episode. And remember, science is cool. Ciao.